This kid's a hack. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I should learn more accents and not be quick to assume specific ones. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. More like an old guy. Yeah, I'm a 40-year-old dude. I'm a 40-year-old dude living in my mom's basement. That's exactly it. That is exactly it. So, chat. How and why older women are on demand? Chat, do you like older women? Like, as in either older than you or, like, generally older? Like, I guess people that are calling hacks nowadays are, like, around 30. Close to 30, a little bit older than 30. I believe it. Yeah, yes. Yeah. 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 20s and 30s are my thing. Yeah. Big, big, big. Wow. 27 plus only. My dating span is minus 12 to plus 6. So how do you define? I don't know. <laughs> Women W? Yeah, maybe. Maybe I shouldn't so uh, I shouldn't be so pressed about my age then now anyway. Maybe. Maybe the internet has finally come to accept the age of for people. For all the people. <laughs> Anything above 25. Either way, so let's, let's find out. For a long time in this industry, many VTubers have always pretended to be younger than they actually are. Not that it's necessary to reveal their age, but the pretending to be younger part is interesting. In fact, it's actually been a fear of a few indies and... De definitely, definitely, because there's a lot of ageism going on. Or at least there was in the past, I would say, two to three... Two to four years, there is a lot of ageism going on. But I think nowadays people have been more okay with it. Like, especially like in 2024, people have been becoming more accepting of it. Up and coming aspiring VTubers of whether or not their age will somehow nerf their growth or be a genuine problem that a few people might not want. The answer is no, don't let other people tell you otherwise. VTubing allows you anonymity and to have certain informations about yourself that you can make up and make sense out of. Why yes, Anon, I'm the very embodiment of darkness who has lived since uh? time immemorial. Would you give me money? That's the appeal of kayfabe, to not oh. just the VTubers, but also to the viewers. Oh, kayfabe. The kayfabe. Of I hate kayfabe. The 500-year-old eldritch abomination punched into the shape of a cat girl? Yeah, that's yeah. pretty normal. But somehow yeah. a 30-year-old cafe owner or bartender VTuber is not as cool. Which is a sentiment I severely disagree with, by the way. And it seems like everyone is thinking up all sorts of wild and wacky concepts that sometimes they forget simple designs and simple concepts. Kids are cool because she's 70-year-old, dude. <laughs> so basically anyone who's zillennials or older? Yeah, that reminds me that an... Opcatty cat chat, we collected food and tied cheese for over 25. <laughs> Work a little more. In fact, it's actually the simpler designs that get more popular and iconic. While I do appreciate the complicated eye candy designs that has a lot of details, people remember more the designs that are a bit plainer. You know now, what? That I is true. I actually don't blame VTubers for it. That is actually true. Wow, I'm pausing a lot right away. But that makes me kind of happy that my new design isn't over complicated as well, that it's more simple, that it does have some depth, but it is simple. And I do get it. Why try to be very simple and plain when you are in a medium that can explore all sorts of creative possibilities? Sometimes it's boring to be simple, and sometimes true, for true. obvious reasons people would rather not reveal their age. Just uh. how they would not reveal certain circumstances behind their lives and certain mm -hmm. informations. But in the case of age, <laughs> I, it's not I, something I to be ashamed of anymore in this not. industry. In fact, it has never been the case. I mean, sure, there are some weirdos out there that's gonna whine and cry. Ooh, immersion break, you're too old to be here. Oh, this whore has been ran through since she's old. But for the... <laughs> Did he just say most part, that? It's not a problem. Again, it has never been a problem. Because there is a little culture here in Vichy being called... Hagdom. Let's be honest, Keith, and so I'm personally is about 30 to 35. I'm under 30, Chad. I am under 30! I'm so close to just saying, fuck it, this is how old I am, because you guys seem to be very accepting either way, but yeah, Spoiler Kids is 42. No. Explain <laughs> it, why it's getting mainstream in this era despite always being popular since like 2-3 to three years ago, and why a lot of VTubers are now embracing it. So, 
Hags, despite how ugly the implications the term implies, yesterday, is in happy birthday. and oh, other related birthday. cultures refer to women that are 30 years old or older. But there are also honorary hags who aren't actually 30 years old but have the same vibes and traits that people love about hags. But first, I'd like to explain some potential reasons as to why hags are the way they are and why the industry actually benefits hag watchers and hags themselves more than most people. See, VTubing is a niche industry that's steadily growing but is ultimately hard capped. It's the ceiling of growth in this industry is blatant and it's suffocating to a certain extent. A niche of a niche. Because of that, this is a place where appealing to teenagers or kids isn't a very good option. Appealing to teens, preteens, and kids in a mainstream setting, including that of Twitch and YouTube, is super lucrative. In fact, that's the target demographic a lot of companies, YouTubers, and general content creators want to hit. This is just my guess, but because while they don't have that much money to donate and stuff aside from when they steal their parents' credit card, the sheer number of views and watch time more than makes up for that. That's why YouTube is a massive stickler for content that are generally safe to watch for all ages because their priorities are mostly the kids. But again, in VTubing, that's not the case. People who are in here needs to be at the very least like the animation medium to be into it. We don't have a mainstream appeal, at least not yet. I lie. I love how it says must be mentally ill. Is he lying though? Kids a checklist? <laughs> Must like anime or animation. Check. Must be familiar with Japanese culture and aesthetic. Check. Must be mentally ill. Check, 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 check. <laughs> Must be horny to a certain extent, I mean. <laughs> we have talked about Sukuna, right? <laughs> In Japan, yes, but in EN, not really. And to showcase how small this industry actually is, the biggest and most mainstream VTuber right now in the EN side is Gargura, who only has 5 million subscribers. Only. And that's a lot. But the reason why I'm saying only, because 5 million subscribers against mainstream streamers like XQC or Kaisenat. How many does XQC have? Where is it? Where does it serve? Follow again? <laughs> Thank you for the follow, boot like guy. Hours watch peak average viewers. Five million subscribers, and that's a lot. But the reason why I'm saying two point three million subs, saying only because but five million subscribers more. against mainstream streamers like XQC or Kaisenat. Who gets these numbers and viewerships on their side? Agura ain't shit. Million, okay, so and so Why because we don't. Chigun has more than XQC. Uh, uh, what? Like I get the point he's trying to make, but Gura has five. Okay, four point five million subs, and that's more than XQC. She's more than Aiden. Like. I get like the point he's trying to make, but he certainly ain't serving his point very well with those examples. These numbers and viewerships on their side. And you can't just compare compare to Kaisena. Kaisena is the top number one at the moment. She did get into the Super Bowl. Right. That's and also true. And so because we don't have a mainstream appeal, the industry. Also, chat, depressed Musagi commented on the last video. <laughs> Uh, that I made, uh, re that I reacted to him, the English words, yes. Uh, he commented on the reaction video we had on his video. There we go. That, that, that made more sense. I hope, I hope, I hope. Uh. So yeah, if you're seeing this depressed Usagi, your points, you should have compared them to someone else. Maybe you should have compared another, um, uh, b -b -b VTuber, maybe Iron Mouse. Iron Mouse just hit 2 million? Or oh, 1 million on YouTube? Either or, so yeah. She cannot capitalize on the mainstream numbers to make up for those. 
For small to middle-sized VTubers, which the overwhelming vast majority of VTubing is, including agency VTubers, they are very donation It's the best VTuber. Heck, the metric that most people gauge the financial performance <laughs> of a VTuber is through. primarily their super chat and donation revenue. And to give a more personal example, I'm a YouTuber in this industry, not even an actual VTuber, at least not yet. And the bulk oh. of my income comes from donations, not views, which I do appreciate by the way, streamelements.com slash depressosagi, <laughs> outside holo- We love it. Live on the Sanji exclusive I respect watchers, it. I it's respect why you see it. a lot of donothons or subathons or other means that always drive donations in this industry, even among corpo VTubers. A content creator in this industry, unless they have some semblance of mainstream appeal, cannot bet on views to make up the bulk of their money. It only makes sense that if you want more money, you need to target audience. It really depends, though. Like, that really depends if we're talking about YouTube. Like, I don't know, if we're talking about live streaming. Or videos, because if you are pushing out daily videos and are getting a thousand views on it, at least daily, it, that is still that should still be a livable income. Hopefully, I'm not entirely sure. I don't. I am trying to do the calculation in my head right now. I'm trying to do the calculation right now, but. My head is is not. My head is stupid right now. I am. I suck at muff. I suck at muff chat. Need some money soon. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully in a couple months I can f uh, fully turn to. Um, I can actually be full time a full time content creator and be fully independent. That that is the plan. That is the plan, and for that I'm working on the YouTube. That that is the most important part. That's why daily YouTube videos are also so important for the growth. Yes, for the money. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Moving on. That are more financially stable, and thankfully, contrary to the mainstream belief that VTubers are for the younger folk, we actually love older women. See, VTubing is inherently tied to anime culture, even though there's a lot of VTuber fans and VTubers out there that don't Depending on the feedback I get on this video, I might just say how old I am, honestly. Like, at the start, I really was afraid of the entire ageism uh, thing. Uh, before becoming a VTuber, I was really afraid of the ageism thing, but I, f I guess that's more present in... Twitter itself and around VTubers themselves and not actually in their audience. I think the audience to a degree doesn't care. I don't think yeah, I, I don't think the audience to a degree cares. Um hags. <laughs> yeah, and hack maxing is a thing now. Hack maxing is a freaking thing now. Twitter is more toxic about everything. That is true. Okay, someone need to uh, so Gobo ask how old are you, Kitsu? <laughs> we like you, Kitsu, but your age doesn't matter at all. I, I'm just afraid. Or like, I, I am just. I don't know. To be fair, uh, seeing Yana, Shy Lily, and well, Pixie as well, uh, seeing how old they are made me feel more reassured. <laughs> Best not to do so, Kitsu. How come? How come? I want to see grandma, grandpa, VTuber who's actually old. Oh my god, imagine. That would be so cute. Actually like or proactively oh, watch anime. <laughs> what matters is that they like the Just culture the or they like the aesthetic. The anime boom, in the US at least, happened in the 1990s. Back then, a lot of people were kids. And anime has been gaining on traction ever since. With a smaller really? version of this boom happening during the late 2000s to early 2010s. <gasps> VTubing as an industry was born in the late 2010s, so it makes sense that most people that liked the culture back then are at the very least on their 20s or at most on their 40s. With the majority, according to what he I've knows. seen, being mostly hovering around the 20 to 30 year old range. He's pulling up the stats. Chat, he's pulling up the stats. He knows. And if a lot of these people are still watching anime or still have crazies. anime access now, uh, one can assume that they probably have a relatively stable <laughs> source of income. 
Or they're broke college students who need VTubers to calm down in their downtime. Or, sometimes, genuinely high-performing people with high-paying jobs that just so happens to like the medium. Hey, skilled and high-performing people are often the most successful and the weirdest. It's true. Look it up. Somehow, furries are fucking chemical engineers or actual surgeons or government officials, and somehow VTuber fans are company executives, doctors, and senior mechanics and some shit. It's pretty damn weird. Well, and well, why this is important is because actual, of two reasons. There's some actual doctors. Men of older age are financially more stable, and if you get one or two to like you enough, they are going to get you a shit ton of donations. In fact, many small to medium VTubers have one or three whales who they rely on as a large part of their money. Parasocial or GFE hags are the absolute winners in this regard, at least in terms of finances. They kinda have to know the risks when they want to cater to this market and act accordingly, but in any case, older men's watch time and attention span are great because the YouTube algorithm will promote videos and content that have longer watch time. Short form content, not really. Which is why a lot of VTubers have and may end up regret doing YouTube shorts or eventually stop because it doesn't seem really good for anything aside from engagement farming on Twitter that or Reddit. That is absolutely true. YouTube shorts are just um, 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 a way to promote yourself. You do not earn anything from YouTube shorts. Nothing. Nothing. I check. Kitsunero is 11 years old. No idea how old the person running the channel is, though. <laughs> my account is hella old, huh? Wow. Yeah, my account is hella old. Or racking up dead subscribers. It is good for getting your name out there, though. But hey, this is anecdotal. I don't know the actual numbers. In fact, most of what I say in this video are anecdotal. I'm just pulling these out of my ass, but they seem true. And it seems to be the case with a lot of VTubers that I've seen. So how does this tie back to hags and hagdom? I'm not saying that younger demographics are not important. They are, don't get They wrong. are, they Zoomers are. Zoomers and younger people can appreciate hags and sometimes even may prefer hags over anyone else for reasons we'll get into later. Uh, After all, it's only more? a matter of time until everyone appreciates hags eventually. Zoomer catering content creators are short-lived because their audience will always grow up. And while one might think that new Zoomers are going to make up for the Zoomers that left, new Zoomers are going to like new things and ride new trends. The content that Zoomer catering creators so make right. will not necessarily appeal to the new Zoomers. Those creators will have to adapt and pivot in order to cater to a much more mature demographic and grow with their audience. He is so or right. they'll have to be up to speed and pivot into the new trends that the new Zoomers like. Failing to do that, and they will get replaced by new Zoomer catering content creators. But hags are universal. Hags are the human equivalent to evergreen content. Any age range can like them. And it's only a matter of time until those that don't eventually hags. do. That I love how we're just calling not even middle-aged women, but just around 30-year-old women hags. It's so funny to me. That is so funny to me. Hi, kids. I hope you're well and better. Have a nice stream. Thank you. I am well and better. Thank you. Thank you. The brain fog is all gone. I'm happy. I'm up to streaming. Everything's all right. Hope you're doing great too. Is the algorithmic and near OP circumstances that hag creators and hag VTubers find themselves in, especially Hi, hags that actually you do done keep up for with food? the internet. Women at the age of 30 Beach. are in demand. Wisely said Hosho Maru. In fact, ravens? there is so much demand that, that, that even in Japan, Pekora's mom, yes, the mom of a VTuber, <laughs> yeah, uh, her mom is so holds popular. the record for the biggest VTuber debut in the entire industry. <laughs> her mom and is this so was popular. Only an April Fool's joke. I mean, obviously, there's a lot of factors, like the fact that viewers like it whenever a family member of their favorite VTubers appear on stream, or that she's piggybacking off of Pekora's already large viewer base, or whatever. But I think we know the reason why. <laughs> One can really imagine what it would be if there was like an entire VTuber generation or corp out there that are just a bunch of moms. Iago, you need to make holo moms or holo hags happen. Heck, it doesn't even have to be holo live. There's an entire obvious big ass gaping maw of a market in here that nobody seems to be taking advantage of. With that being said, it's now important to Madara address the question. Can, why do is. people, even of the younger side, like? Hags, and we have to tackle this from different perspectives physical, sociological, or social, and sexual. In the physical aspect, because you're a VTuber, 
Yeah? Nobody really fucking cares, brother. I mean, sure, right? We can have an argument as to how younger ladies from 18 to 25 are peak versus 25 to 30, or that people generally develop an attraction to other people around their age and more, whatever. Any argument involving looks are irrelevant to VTubing because anime as an aesthetic can make anyone of any age look attractive. True! <laughs> True! That's why we love anime girls. Anime is just superior. Also, because hags are women that are 30 or older, a lot of guys basically get the impression that they're a mom at that point, right? And but what you may ask is the most common and ideal body shape of a mommy or a MILF? Wait, once I turn 30, do I need to adapt that body type? Do I need to adapt that body style once I turn 30? Oh! Shall I be 30? Like, I knew she is around her 30s. Is she 30 yet? Look, there's a massive overlap between hags and milfs. In VTubing, they're basically She's the same 27? Thing. Okay. The social aspect is actually much more interesting. Because VTubing as a medium relies more on one's conversational skills and voice rather than actual appearances, generally, it's people that are very charismatic or is able to hold down a conversation a in an interesting yeah, 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 way that's yeah, yeah, yeah. much more pleasing to listen to and watch do stuff. In this way, hags benefit from VTubing because hags are generally much more chill and confident. They know how to talk and pull you Ooh. in interesting conversations. See, one of the weaknesses of normal streaming is that if you're a woman that is not conventionally attractive according to current societal yeah, standards, yeah, yeah, you're most yeah, likely yeah. to not get that. That's- Oh my god, how often have I been saying this? How often have I said this chat? How often have I been preaching this exact sentiment? Okay, so how many springs you seen? Huh? Oh. Oh, like seasons. Oh. Uh. Yo! But how cool, what up, what up? What does this mean? I'm a heck? <laughs> does this mean I'm a heck? I mean... Bro, I keep exposed. <laughs> exposed to what? ...much attention. And even if you are, you most likely have to- <laughs> Thank you for the three months! Oh my god! Thank you so much! Original Wait, what happened? Underscore bubble I don't know. Just subscribed. Thank you so much, Original Bubble! I remember the last time you subbed, just because that name. I like that name, Original Bubble. <laughs> Put up a shit ton of makeup and it's a lot of to preparation say. that can hassle you. But under the guise of a virtual avatar, many people can see your personality and judge you according to your merits rather than superficially. Once success yeah. does not hinge on physical traits that you may or may not have control over. And I yep, think this yep, is the yep. power that a lot of older women have and why many nerdy older women prefer to be in this side of the content creating space. Aside from people liking and vibing more with others around roughly oh, their same him. age, yeah. people there who like is. hags often find them being more real but wacky in the right ways, more mature in handling anything, carry a conversation, less bullshit, more straight to the point. And the fact that they're VTubers have a OG greater son? chance of them potentially- Wasn't OG, uh, OG uncle, if I'm not mistaken? OG son. OG son. This just reminds me there's a VTuber called Mom VT or something along those lines. <laughs> really? What the hell? Potentially having much more common interests with the general target demographic of VTubers. And in the sexual aspect, I mean... <laughs> Come on. <laughs> See, the prevalence of hags in the industry is also helped by the fact that a lot of VTubers are actually real? kind of showing their rage, whether they realize it or not. Perhaps some PR knowledge got leaked. Perhaps uh -oh. it's a reference that only a people of a few age will understand. Maybe their voice or speech patterns oh, no. betrays their age. Maybe they just <laughs> fucking tell you. What is clear is that there is a demand and that it's okay to be an older woman here. VTubing is meant to be a place where any person of any background is allowed to be who they want to be. LARP as that one OC that they've always wanted to play up in their heads. Most VTubers in this industry that, are either- That, that one- Oh, that one hits close to home actually. Like, ah, uh, that last part hits so close to home. <laughs> Christmas cakes, hags, or hags in the making. No point anymore in trying to hide, so let your hagdom fly, you beautiful not-so-old soul. 
I may not fully understand or feel the appeal and grandeur of hags right now, and I might not even be the best person to make this video, but does it really matter? There's going to be nothing but thirst posting, poetry, and heartfelt essays like about the glory the of hags in the comment section anyway, just fucking pouring their souls out on why they like hags, and they're going to do a much better job than I have. That was the actual plan all along, <laughs> to make you fuckers make my content for me. Now off you go and make yeah. your essays, you fucking horny sons of bitches. He's right though, go on chat, start commenting. Next I bring you onto the screen so you can literally start commenting for me as well. Be like older women, they're like five years older, bro. I think older women in the sense of that they're like older compared to other women. Hag tubers basically do this because chat is also more mature. True, true. I do like a good hack, like Lumi from Face Coffee. <laughs> Pekor Pekora's mom's got it going on. Uh, seems like we attracted tourists and non-VTuber fans because of the hit tweet. Welcome, I appreciate the comments as it helps the algorithm. If you don't understand, hack is hacks is a term as a joke and a term of endearment for VTuber fans referring to people on or above the age of 30. I see, I see, I see. Uh, 